Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with another match for you today. I'm here with my co-commentator, Josh. How you feeling, Josh? I'm feeling all right. How are you? Pretty good. You've been in that seat a long time today, so yeah. I hope you can enjoy another one of the hot action here. We got Iachupai. We got Foxen. Let me give you the statistical breakdown here of these two gentlemen. Foxen is sitting at number three on the boards with the record of five and two and an average clear rate of 5.6. Iger Pai, right under him in fourth place in the league, sitting at four and two. He has a one less match played, of course, and uh, his average clears is 4.7. I mean, we should have a pretty tight match here today. But of course, you never know how it's going to turn out. Things I'm looking for is the background of Foxen. Will it ever move? This is always a perpetual question here. Do you think that man in the background is going to move today? I don't know. What do you think, Josh? I think he might be a statue. Okay, we got or a statue. Call cutout. a statue. Cardboard cutout. It's good guesses here. We will see what happens. But uh, we get just about ready to get underway here. What we're going to do here is do three races of 15 minutes. The person who wins, he gets the most clears in those 15 minutes will get a point. If you win more races than your opponent, you get a bonus point, which means there's four points up for grabs here. The winner is going to get four points or three points with the loser getting one point. If we have a tie score, when the timer hits zero, we will go to overtime. That means the next clear will win. And we have two skips to start this race. Okay, we are off. I should pie with them. Like and to see our runners push pause at the beginning of each ra uh, race here to see how long the world record is. If it's less than a minute, usually they run with it. If it's over a minute, they usually skip it. But, of course, every runner does a little bit differently. 90 seconds speedrun for Foxen. Those are what you want to see. 90 seconds is a bit long, but you gotta give it a try, right? I ate your pie, seeming to navigate his way through here pretty easily. I did not see the average, the, the world record on that side, but he obviously, I'm pretty low if he's sticking with it. Foxen taking a death. Let's see if he sticks with this one again, though. Had that. Checkpoint in his back pocket. And uh, I ate your pie having to fight this flying mad lad. Oh, yeah. The flying Little mad boss. lads are always the worst. Little boss over here with the final He's got down low and he gets the key. There you go. Prana plants watching on as it happens. Boxing getting past the point that proved deadly twice before. Both runners looking for their first clear. I ate your pie getting the comfortable checkpoint. I ate your pie looking for another key. And he loses the boot. Foxen's okay. gotta be coming up soon. There it is. He gets the axe for the first clear of the day. And Two I ate your minutes. pie dying to a Goomba after losing the boot. Well, he's been in this level two minutes now, still looking for first clear. Getting close to the ending, though, you'd think. He's gotta hop on those spinies. And then go through that door, apparently. Well, this looks to be a bit of an adventure level, which is obviously something you want to avoid here. Searching around for keys Absolutely. and random nonsense. Hopefully the I'd definitely is... be skipping this. Yeah, let's see if I just probably think the same. Death, he will skip mm -hmm. it. Both of them were in boots, so... I just probably staying true to it. Yeah. General consensus might be to skip this one, I think. You know, you don't know where the ending is yet. That's the key. You know, he doesn't even know where it is. Yeah, How close it's kind is of it? a puzzle level. You gotta yeah. find all the key, all the coins, and then eventually make your way back to the key door. And the key door, who knows if that even leads you to the end. Yep. Looks like there was the applaud people in the front, and he gets paid off in the end. At least, he put, spent three minutes, but at least he gets to clear out of it, so... We are tied up at one. Foxen does have a clear under his belt, but the clear counter is not working on that side so well today, but uh, we'll keep you updated for sure. Foxen doing some platforming. Going up and down and right and left and trying to figure out where he's supposed to go. Oh, looks like he's a second clear. He's inside form. Got to make a tough jump, and it's in there. Thankfully, there was no Kaizo blocks there. <laughs> yeah, that would taking been... a skip. That would have been pretty brutal. With 11 minutes and 25 seconds to go. Okay. Foxen getting settled in here. 
with his two clears. Counter says zero, but he does have two clears. So he's in the lead right now. Make no mistake about it. 3.54 on the world record time for Sox, and that's the easiest skip he'll do today. All right, you're probably, interesting enough, you have a 1 minute 28 world record level, but he says, I'm going to play this one, which I feel is a bit long to keep with, but we'll see if it pays off for him. Fox in there, he had a, a, a level without a world record, and uh, some runners give it a chance, some runners don't. I guess Fox is in the don't try it camp. For sure, and maybe the, the style of the level wasn't something you wanted to do either. A lot of re decisions. Uh, Ija Pai taking a death to that Koopa. Thanks. I thought the Koopa would have died with the shell, but apparently not. Oh, it's the Monty Moles that died with the shell. Yeah. Looks like he's got to kill both of these, takes care of that. Going back up a pipe here. Not a very straightforward level again for Ija Pai here. Japan, not sure what to do. And he finds himself a mushroom and a, a fire flower. Can he get through the hole there, though? It's not going through now, it should be no problem for him. Tight jump, but he's in there. But hopefully, this will lead the to the end, end or somewhere close to the end. Where does the fun end? You know, it's like this level, this level, minute 30 world record again. Doesn't know exactly where it's going to lead. Fox and got to do some nice Z jumps here. Some skill testing level there on his side. Let's watch him navigate his way through there. And Fox and finding himself a star. That could be very beneficial. Got to jump on top of these swamps, it appears. But he's got to wait until the star runs out, or he will kill that swamp. Oh, so not so beneficial, like I originally thought. Don't want to kill the swamps. You can't jump off them if they're the top. Yeah, I should buy and really a... getting himself a spike, spiny shelmet. Pretty smart nice. thinking there. Nice to have. I should buy is really lost in this labyrinth of a level here. Moles running around. It's pretty much the opposite of a kind of level you want to see in this tournament uh, for sure. Just gotta do random stuff. Pick up items here. Get the key here. Something that takes a lot of time. We like the levels that are run right, jump a few times, and get that flagpole. And I ate your pie, finding that flagpole, just as you say it. There you go, tied up two, up, two to two. Two to two. Beautiful. Foxen should be getting close himself, you'd think. Of course, we don't know. <sighs> Ish. Guy in the background on Foxen's side watching intently. He always does. Foxen in there with a the clear as taking the lead back. So no really quick levels for either of our players here. Both had to work for it. I should probably take enough. Running right off the cliff. I guess he thought the next platform was a little bit closer. Overzealous star jump there. Or I should buy. Gotta defeat all 12 Koopas. For Foxen, but he uh, takes a death there. Alright, you're probably finding another star. He's gonna keep going with it. Hopefully, he doesn't have to be too speedy here. Yikes! Ooh, nice recovery there from Foxen. Gotta defeat all Koopas, but he is missing one. I he says no. Star and gets himself a third clear. Seven minutes left. We are tied up. Foxen again looking for four Koopas. He got three last time. Where is that third one? There it is. On top of the flying bomb. -om. Should be good to go now. And he should retake the lead as long as he executes perfectly here. And he does. Ektos with the sub. You are awesome, my friend. I should probably bring out the skip. I think I should probably, it's pretty safe to say, is one of our most reluctant skippers we have of the 24 people in this tournament. Um, he definitely goes, sticks with longer levels, uh, sticks with levels longer than some people, but uh, yeah, he's fourth in the league. So fourth, I think it's fourth. Yeah, fourth in the standing, so it's working out for him to some degree, for sure. Uh, this is a Thwomp lesson level on I should probably side.
So we will see what he has to learn. Good to know when to skip. 30 second world record, so no problem there. Learn about these swamps. Going to school. Seems to be pretty easy so far, though. There's got to be a trick to this, right? It must be somewhere. Oh, and Fox is just making that jump. He's trying to cheese it by going over. I don't think that's the intended way. Unless he waits for this Goomba. Goomba's going to be a pal here. Oh, he's still too missed. short. <laughs> Barely missed. He didn't, didn't have the patience there to make it as I your pie takes the... that cat suit. He can probably climb up that wall, though. Yep. Well, I eat your fun. pie. Gets another clear. Is that 4-4 four, four now? That is the tie, as Foxing grabs the cat suit, though, won't stay a tie for very long, triumphantly meowing on top of that flagpole to take the lead back. Five minutes left now. Both these players with getting close to their average scores here. I should probably skip in that one with the long world record. Throw a shell. Damn it. Alright, you're buying a little bit of a skip streak here. Three minutes and 54 second record for Fox, and he's going to skip that as well. I eat your pie coming in on a level called You Are Not Alone. Use Builder Mario is the name of her Fox's level. We're not going to see it, though. Skips, all right, your pie. I didn't see the world record on this one, but a swimming level, not something you want to see. Right. But... It's a puzzle, too. Oh, a maze, which is also it's a puzzle. puzzle. It's a maze, and he's got to race this fish so he doesn't get eaten. Hopefully, he took a right turn there. Oh, fun fun level design here. Not something we want to see, but it is definitely fun. And oh, he's trapped, he's trapped now. in the a corner. Oh, no, fish takes a bite. <laughs> I had to hide your pie. Unfortunate there. That was a cool level, though, but uh, I don't know if it's one you want to play here. Might want to skip this, and yeah, he does throw that skip into the abyss and we are down to five to four 345 345 left on the clock i should probably need to clear tie this thing up 50 second world record here on i should probably side for this one he's gonna run with this he's just gotta go slow because if he jumps for one of those koopas and misses it then he's going down And he gets hit by that Monty Mole, falling from the pipe. Checkpoint was in sight there. Painful, but he's going to stick with it. 115 were record here for Foxen. Got a lot of cars on site. He's going to run with this. feel like that might be skipped by some players, but he's going to say, hey, let's get to give it a shot. Well, he's like got a cape too. now. He found a feather. So maybe he can fly over the whole level. Maybe that's how someone got a world record. There you go. Checkpoint grabbable now. He needs to get on that other. Hit, he needs to hit that switch over there on the left side, though. He needs to get. Could throw the shell. It's the only option now. Will the shell reach up there? And it does. Oh, yeah. Oh, I doubted it for a second. Each level without leaving the ground, just gotta wait for the- Oh, just gotta wait for that Koopa to jump over you over there on Fox's side. That's a- could be a quick one if he gets it here. I it's not easy though, you gotta time it correctly. Key, and he dies to the muncher while looking for the key. He should have killed all the- All the, uh, Monty Moles on one side and then went back. That's what I would have done. Fox needs to time this run under the Goomba here. And the clear is in sight. Easier said than done for sure! He's done- Dunked a few deaths now into this level though. He's still at 10 though, so that's pretty that's fine, but not ideal here. And then look at the pattern! Runs, runs into the right shoe. into that Goomba. Got it. I think you have to time it like that though. You do have to time it like kind of while he's still on the ground to get it correctly. He didn't jump that high. This guy's got not a lot of leg power. He does have the wings though, it's a little bit confusing. You know, physics wise, but we deal with that. He has to run towards it before the jump. Here we go. Oh, I thought that was it that for was sure. That was so close. Now he's got six lives left. How many more tries does he sink into this one? Yes. Oh, the 
the bottom of the wing, I think, apparently has some danger. The hitboxes on this Goomba are proving difficult. Five lives left for Foxy. Keep your eye on that. Ooh, that one that was not a wholehearted try. Kind of got stuck halfway through there. Four lives left. Keep your eyes on that. Yes, you! <laughs> he finally and dropped. Take the skip with 50 seconds left to go. Yeah, that was an interesting one. He does have the one clear lead, of course, in the back pocket, which is nice to see. He doesn't need another clear, but I Pi, I think, is getting close. He is getting pretty close. He's not you giving think. up on this level yet. You'd think there's another checkpoint, though. Does that mean if the ending is far? He has to beat Koopa now, and oh. he is dead. 30 seconds left. It's going to be tough now. It's going to be real tough now. Iatra Pi needs to pick it up. I don't think he got left. the fire flower that fell from that pipe. So I think there this time he's going to do that immediately. Got to pump. Oh, he lost the fire flower. Now gets it right back. He's got to pump a lot of fireballs into Koopa, though, to get this key. Who knows actually has the key. Gotta go back 10 seconds left now. It is looking more and more like a fox in victory in race number one. He does have the key now. Five seconds left. Is the ending in sight? Is the ending in sight? Another pipe. One second. Two. Has to be right here. One. And it oh, is not. It's just a little too far, and he's got to be small, Mario. Four he seconds too late. Though. Four seconds too late. Foxen takes Four race number one. Foxen with the one zero lead here. Great match by both players. That was really close. Always nice to see. Again, people getting close to their averages, which we could have expected. Foxen with the win there. Foxen, you know, luckily that level didn't, didn't cost him anything. Well, he had to run under the flying Goomba, but that was, uh, could have been, could have spelled danger if I probably found a clear a little bit quicker there. Yeah, I think that guy in the background is a mannequin of sorts. You decide, you change it from statue to mannequin? Okay, that's a bold, bold thought, bold huh. thing. I, th I think he's really there. He just is statue, very... Statue, mannequin, cardboard cutout. He hasn't moved <laughs> a single muscle. You would have thought maybe he'd scratch his face or twitch a little bit but no he's extremely invested in this game he always is he's a foxen's hugest fan for sure so we set up here for race number two <laughs> chat got running wild with thoughts of what what or who this man is in the background of foxen's screen people are Extreme guessing in chat that it's a body pillow I don't know why we think it's not a living creature, guys. It's a living being sitting there enjoying the match. And we are off in that race. Skyline 20 seconds is a good one for I2 Pie. But Fox has also said short and sweet, so we'll see. I2 Pie taking the first death. Looks like a bit of a skill tester level there, which, uh, you know, if you can do it, it could be quick, especially with the, with the timer at 20 seconds, but he's got to pull it off. How many tries do you know skipping is this? Gotta keep the wall jumps going. Gotta jump on the piranha plants. But nope. Three tries is enough for Ratchet Pie. He says, see ya. Foxen here has gotta do a switch jump. Yeah, gotta do a switch jump on the wall about halfway there. He lost the switch there. Watching, oh, no, he just flies. Yeah, what am I surrounded that with? I'm gonna fly up. Find that somewhere. And uh, Foxen gets himself a checkpoint. Okay, I actually probably didn't see the title level there. I'll make sure I get it next time. It's the interesting thing there, okay? Now, I think he's it's done. Now, the flagpole is right there, but he has to fall quickly. He has to fall quicker than that front of play can get there. Oh, yeah, okay. And Fro Fox and flying into the tape means you have one chance to fall down faster than the thing. So let's see if he can do it. He has to fall faster. He has to, oh, so you have to, yep, yeah, that's a tough one. You have to time it perfectly to get in the claw and then let go of the claw at this exact same, basically the same time. Yeah, like well, says, I don't want to the, the muncher was moving the same direction, so pretty hard. It's definitely tight there. And he Fox decides to skip it. Fox to get another level that he can't leave the ground in. Once he touched it, gotta keep the jumps moving. No problem for Fox in here. 
Yes, get little speed. He gets it back. I ate your pie, taking another death. Fox and getting a relatively easy. I ate your pie, taking a skip on that one. You couldn't make it quite fast enough to that P switch. I ate your pies, jumping on some bees here, waiting for this uh, for the blocks to turn to red, and he's taking a skip. I guess he's had enough of that one. Can't really blame him there. At all. I ate your pie taking quite another skip. With uh, 11 minutes and 20 seconds to go. I ate your pie is at zero clears and Foxen's at two clears, but it still could be anyone's game. I ate your pie could pull it out right here. And he's choosing to skip all these bad levels, which is what a lot of runners should do. And Foxen taking a leap of faith and falling into the void. I might have been going there. Was it going for a while? Through this puzzle, trying to skip all these ants and not get hit by any of them. Because while they're cute and you can jump on them, they will kill you. Am I back? Yep. Okay, cool. Welcome back. Uh, I said some mind blowing commentary that y'all missed, but uh, yeah, I'm back. Not sure I ate your pie, took a death on that ant. And Foxen. Managing to land it and taking the third clear of the game. Three clears. I'm sorry to, to hear that now. your microphone cut out. Yep, yeah, it's cool. I, uh, I was still enjoying the race here. Ice your pie is now he's in deep. I mean, he's got to get a clear here. I'm well, going up by four. This is, is, is kind of tough. It's not gonna. It's gonna be tough to come back for that. Um, so he needs to find a clear here before Fox gets the next one. Or this might be a quick uh, race. Ten minutes to go. Oh. <laughs> Fox is the best com oh. best cheerleader in the whole league for sure. Just sits there, not questioning any of Fox's moves. <laughs> Just watching, enjoying. It's awesome. Love to see him. Every week here. I should probably really not getting love from the levels either. He hasn't got a quick one ever. It looks like he's getting all these messes. Look at all these spinny things. <laughs> these are never fun. I ate your pie trying to figure out where he's supposed to be jumping here. He's got to give her to go on the right side and get over it. But I mean, this is not fast at all. Here we go. Is the ending in sight? No, not yet. Not yet. Got to get on top of the thwomps and a Koopa's waiting. Wow. And I your pie decides to take a skip with eight minutes and 45 seconds to go. Still sitting on zero. Now we're kind of in panic mode, you know, if you're, if you're pie here. I mean, the race is, is it's getting out of hand here. You got to get a clear... I find a level he likes though. One minute thirty seconds again. Might be a skip normally, but he says I'm gonna try to get my first clear. Yeah, probably not getting kind levels at all, for sure. We can all agree. Right, on gods are not in his favor. It's Nike's not skipping either. It's Nike's sticking with trash either. He's skipping and saying, okay, let me see what's next. But it's just, every one has been bad. But there it is. His first His clear. His first clear. In the bag. There's still seven minutes and 55 seconds to go. He could still pull up. Definitely could. Definitely within the realm of possibility here, for sure. Let's see if the level gods give him a good one here.
Fox in a bit of a swimming level here. Didn't see how much of an adventure it was. Was watching Andre Pie get that first clear. Got a checkpoint though. Didn't do the wait through these pipes. And Foxen picking up clear number four. So he gets back that three clear lead. And hopefully I your pies coming close to his second clear. Needs to get the Yosh. Sacrificial Yoshi there, but then Toad takes the dive as well. I should probably stick with the one, sticking with this one. Not knowing exactly what to do, but he's gonna. Not I think sure he's sticking with is. it because he sees what to do. Yeah. He, he generally pretty good with skipping. Both of these players so far have skipped some levels that have been really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Definitely tough jump here. He gets it this time. At the end of the fun, or does he need Yoshi here too? Oh, yep, he and does. Now and he he's says, taking no. that skip. He thought he yeah. saw what to do, which was just to the next part. It wasn't quite to the end, though. Like we would have hoped. We would have hoped it would be to the end, but it wasn't. I want to see a tight race here for sure. Troll in the name of the tight level name. I don't like seeing that. But I is unfazed. Or, I ate your pie. Sorry, losing Yoshi right away. And picking up the... like he might have been able to keep him. Fox and picking up the fifth clear now as things are getting a bit out of reach for Aichir Pie here unless he finds a clear quickly. There's five minutes and 37 seconds to go. Uh, Aichir Pie should be, you know, skipping this puzzle in my opinion. Let's see though. Let's see where this pipe leads him. I agree on the whole, but you never know what's on the other side of that pipe. I didn't see the world record yet. I think it was like 115 or something, so... I think so. Deciding to ignore the skull platform there, which could be faster, but you never know. Maybe it's and not ignore the P switches in the thoughts of there being something above him. And he's going well to get his second clear. Keeping I things possible. Getting his second clear at five minutes exactly. Keeping things possible for sure within three. Still need some good levels, but it's definitely now is possible. And Foxen sitting at five. I ate your pie sitting at what was that two? Yep, that was a second. People are questioning. I don't understand this question in the chat about is it a green screen? Is he he's a person Maybe. sitting there watching Foxen play? It's awesome. No, enjoy it. He hasn't moved his fingers though. Definitely not. Why would you? I have it myself either. <laughs> Fox is throwing a hot skip. <laughs> 300, just, all 391 coins there for I your pie. These usually take a long time. We'll see. Maybe it's just a fun slide down, though. 21 seconds, I think it is. Hey! Oh, I ate your pie falling into the saw blades. Not quite hitting the on-off switch. I think you gotta give us one of the old end of the try, though, for sure. You know it can be quick if you do it correctly. Oh, Foxen. Not quite making it. And I ate your pie, dying to a saw blade again. I want to direct your attention to I ate your pie's life total here. He does die this time. He will came over. Watch it closely. Oh! And there it dies is. Dies to the saw blades. And he's back down to one clear. With three minutes and 33 seconds to go. That will wrap up this one in terms of the standing, in terms of the winner of this match. Fox is going to take this one for sure. Let's see how many clears he can get, though. I mean, he's already up to, to six. people asking, yes, the match is pre-recorded. Match is definitely pre-recorded. We are also, we are not pre-recorded. The man in the background on Fox and screen is also not pre-recorded, in case anyone's wondering. Add your pie's levels entitled Fear. We'll see how scary it, it turns out to be for him. 22nd world record. Can't be too bad. Yeah, who's gonna be laughing? <laughs> death. Who's gonna be laughing when the guy in the background just stands up and walks away at the end of this? Then your minds have been that really blown. Be petrifying. <laughs> I'd be extremely scared. 
It's gonna happen. This is why you gotta wait to the end of this uh, this match, guys. It's gonna happen. Count on it. Fox, I gotta do some precise fine jumps here. Making it look easy, but the fun doesn't end. It's gotta do with spikes in the equation. And I ate your pie, getting a second clear. Since he died and lost one. So this is only a second clear, even though technically it would be his third. But ow, Foxen, seven. Just as Foxen gets himself a clear. There's Foxen two the minutes and five eight. seconds to go. Foxen's highest score ever is, let me check that, is nine. So is he, that's probably out of reach right now, but he could possibly tie it. Is that nine or is that eight? Foxen's highest ever. It's now oh. it's seven, but Foxen's highest ever is nine. So his personal best is nine clears. Oh, yeah, that's pretty high. Uh, I Trapai's level is called Undertale. Something, something theme. I didn't see the bump, second half of it. And he takes a death right away. Someone in chat is saying that I ate your pie is on camera and not looking at the screen while he's playing, which would be very talented if that was, you know, him dabbing. Live. Lots of cool stuff going on here in the background to watch for. These player cameras are really important to watch for. All the mind-breaking stuff as Foxen gets his eighth clear. Nine is definitely in sight now. Could tie his PB. Nine your pie doing this auto-scroll level and dying to a spike. There's one minute left. Let's see, let's hope for Fox and he can get that ninth clear. What did you say his PB was? Nine. So it's definitely a chance. Has to clear this one. For sure. IIPK just tied his personal best, I believe. Yep, of 11. That was pretty hype. I saw that one. That was nice. Had a real shot at 12, I thought, but the levels kind of worked kind near the end of that thing. Yeah, and in that last level that he did, he had a real close shot. Anyways, I ate your pie just hit another spike. He's trying to jump in that cloud fast enough to get through the auto scroller, but it's not quite working for him. There's only 10 seconds left to go of this round. Fox has got to go for it, not wait around, but he takes a death, and that will do it. He will get stuck at eight clears, and I your pie will be stuck at two clears as we finish race number two. Fox and getting that I bonus point. Pie. Not making those jumps quite yet. Fox and taking that bonus point, he will go home with at least three points. If he wins this last race, he will go home with four. Aichi Prime is looking for that one point that he can take home this weekend. The one thing, the best part about Fox's cheerleader is that he doesn't, you know, Fox is doing good. He's got two wins, but there's no, there's no encouragement. There's no cheerleading done. He's like, okay, job's not done. We got one more. No distractions. You know? <laughs> We got one more to do, so I'm not saying anything. It's it's really encouraging. It'll be it's kind of coaching we all need. For a <laughs> <to do. laughs> it's kind of coaching we all need in our life. As we get set here for race number three. I mean, Foxen wouldn't be able to hear it anyway. He's got his headphones up. If the guy in the background was cheering him on. That's that's another thing. Good point. It could be this could be like Foxen's handler that just is training Foxen for these for this tournament. You know, it's like. You need to perform like a like a Russian skating judge or sk skating coach or something, you know? <laughs> when the camera and gets off, it gets scary in there. And we're off to the last round. Dark thoughts going on here on this commentator's mind as we start race number three with Fox and, and Aichirpai. Aichirpai looking to get his, at least a single point from this match today. Deciding to leave the switch on when it should takes a real hard death there. <laughs> a little bit of a self kill there. <laughs> Jumping into the space there with the with the shell already inside. Don't oh, think that's the way it's going to happen. To yeah. death. <laughs> that was some bad timing on his behalf. Don't think that's the way it's got to be done. Got to make a single pause there. Gotta make it He's stop checking the every red. pipe, trying to find out which one's the easiest, but all of them seem to have the exact same concept. You jump on the blocks and there's more red than blue. I think it's about time he takes a skip. Aichirpai needs to 
needs to stop the shell, but uh, and I Frogson, got there yet. getting his first clear of the game. Or the match, I guess. The game's almost done. Right, your pie. You really need to hit the block and then stop it. But it's not happening yet. Yep, not yet. Alright, that, yeah, okay. He, he figured it out that time. It's not gonna work that way. But okay, we get past it. We're on to 11 lives for I Eat Your Pie. Fox and Arthur was the first clear. I was watching I Eat Your Pie handle that block level. I didn't see Fox and get his first clear. Oh, I commented on Fox and getting his first clear. Cool, cool. Okay, I Eat Your Pie, magma level coming up here. The 1 minute 12 world record. Fox is dealing with some enemy spam here and... I can't quite see over the commentator's faces on the side of the screen what is causing the blocks to pop up, but I see that it's something. Oh, it's a shell in between springs. Never mind, I see it now. <laughs> yep. You see how all the, the faces are on the side of the screen. It's blocking the screen. There you go, Foxen. Getting his second clear there. Taking the lead again. Looks like it seems like he's had, been, he's had the lead this whole this whole match for sure. I should probably just not get any kind of consistency or momentum here. Definitely. Hopefully, I H Pi can pull out a few clears here. He's only one behind currently, with 12 minutes to go. Yeah, I should probably take another death here. Wasn't quite fast enough. And Foxen, in a speed run, a uh, 60 second speed run, I believe that was. The screen's kind of small, I can't really see what it says, but I think that was 60 seconds. This is a level I'd like to see I your pie skip, I think. I mean, it's not easy, Absolutely. but the first thing against it, he knows there's more coming. I don't know what's next. Yeah. Who knows where this, this next door leads. But that's it. If that's all you know, that's not enough information. Lava coming in again, and there's the skip. And I your pie finally taking the skip. Foxen figuring out where he's got to go in this speed run. Hopefully, the ending is in sight soon for him. Hopefully. Doing a nice slide and taking some damage and just running. He's got 14 seconds left. And he's got Around the key door. Timer. Keep your eye on that timer, and, but it doesn't matter because he can get the pole and he gets his third clear. Before I the fight, to fight struggling anymore. with Yoshi and some springs. Not a good combination, dinosaurs and springs. I don't know what the strat here is supposed to be, but it seems like you need Yoshi on the other side of that. But I don't quite understand how you'd get him over there. I guess I'll just keep watching, see if he can do it. I believe it's slow and steady wins the race here, but let's see if I Pie gives it that chance. Getting bounced around. <laughs> He's been, there we there go. There we go. He got <laughs> it. But he lost Yoshi for a second. Can Yoshi eat those loose um, chain jumps? Chat, that's the question of the week. Can Yoshi eat the loose chain chomps? This commentator says once they wanted to say no, but I also did want to give you incorrect information. So let's see what the chat says. <laughs> let's see what the chat says to that question. As Foxen has the ending in sight again with four clears, just over ten minutes. Wow, that's a I nice coming up on it on the checkpoint and. The screen is laughing at him, but the checkpoint's in sight, or sorry, the clear is in sight. I've been doing this for too long today. And <laughs> he takes this, his second clear of the game. Josh, Josh with overtime here at their fourth commentated match of the day here. Yep, doing some but... overtime. <laughs> and the truth, the, the answer has come out. The crowd came in. We phoned a friend. We found out that, yes, he can eat those chain chops. There you go. The truth is now known. Not that they were really bothering him. I was just curious. Knowledge is power in everything you do. And I ate your pie getting springed up into a spike. We got the gears turning here. What's he supposed to do here?
Oh, timer. Oh, up I for ate your pie. pie. Was so close. He knows what he's got to do now, though. I feel like he'll get it. Just can't bonk. It's got to be pretty tight there. Ten seconds left on the clock. Watch that timer. He rushed a little too much. The spike hitbox proving fatal, and he says, I don't want to try that one again, folks. And Foxen getting a muncher dropped directly on his head. All right, surprise level entitled Hurry Up. That's all you gotta do. Look at that timer. 30 seconds. Gotta have a clown car there. Not a clown car. A Koopa car. <laughs> Oh, yee. Not that, that wasn't. I wasn't called a Kaiser block, but it wasn't because it was always there. Just the block. He, he got got trolled by that block that was always there. Oh, and Foxen getting the same warning, getting the same troll, and taking a skip. And I ate your pie, taking a skip for dying at the exact same spot as well. <laughs> Coin Cave is the name of Foxen's level. Get nine hundred ninety nine coins. Yikes. Five minutes, 16 world record. That goes by. I hate your pie trying to speed through this water level, which seems a little bit redundant because you can't really go through these levels very fast. No, you can do, but I don't want it. I never can let your guy out. I guess the water's kind of rising and falling, so it might be a little possible to speed through, but not every part. Fox and in the Fox worst part is jumping on a thwomp and jumping around in uh, is this low grab. Oh, yes. It's worse than an auto scroller. Auto scroller with low gravity. Gotta wait on stuff all around the place. Ooh, tight, tight little window here in between the spikes. Yes, now does he have a chance? He has to wait even longer. He takes death and spines. I feel like this should be a skip for sure. Foxen decides no. ALT, you are incorrect. I'm going to do this one one more time. That's uh, Pai brings it within one. Oh, Foxen. Surely now. Different spikes that weren't even that hard. He's got Surely a skip now. at this point. Surely now, but he says no, Foxen. He's got some beef with this level. He's got 13 he lives up. left and 6 minutes and 5 seconds on the clock. I mean, maybe he sees something that we don't as commentators. He's got the steak knife out. He is ripping into this thing. And I ate your pie onto a new level. The door is extremely open now for Aichapai to tie this thing up. Because this level, no matter where the ending is, it's a long way until Foxen gets there because he hasn't seen it yet. So Aichapai, get a quick one here. We're tied up. Oh, Aichapai taking a hit to that saw blade. Checkpoint for Foxen. That means we're not done. Now he's got to figure out where he's supposed to go. Because if you hit the block, then you're not free. But if you don't hit the block, then you are free. So he figures it out. There was a spring in one of the pipes. And now he's got a mad lad to kill. And a baby Bowser. Yikes, and what is this level? I mean, it looks cool. It's well designed. Fun for casual, but... The mad lad. Now he's just got the baby Bowser to kill. Hopefully the baby Bowser doesn't kill him first. He needs a win right now to be able to tie it up. There's a tape for Foxen. He does pay off after that long and slow oh. winding road as Aja Pie gets high. Pulls up right behind. Nice. So that is cool. We are. Let's see, we're going to be, yep, Foxen keeps his one clear lead with 420 left. Anyone's game right now. I ate your pie with two lives, though. That can be a very dangerous area. Oh, yeah, definitely. Fox and say no thanks to that one. I ate your pie. 
trying to go as slowly as he can through this so he doesn't take another death. Two lives for a all right. precarious situation for our pie loving friend. And Pi deciding to skip. Was a bit too we rich are for his blood. Uh, five to four for Foxen, and it could still be anyone's game. There's three minutes and twenty-five seconds left on the clock, and that looked the level I ate your pie just got looked exactly like the level that Foxen just cleared. Yay! A lot of a lot of uh, conspiracy theories being thrown out today. Makes sense to me. Three minutes left for Foxen. Terraria bosses recreated. Anytime you see bosses in the title, you know, you think boss rush, you think a lot of time taken up. And Hydra Pie agrees with me with that. And he saw that world record says, no thanks. For sure. We've got two minutes and 45 seconds left. I Eat Your Pie's got to pull out another clear if he wants to tie this game up. But he's only got one life left. And Firebar Central over there. Why is he sticking with this level? That makes no sense. <laughs> and so I Eat Your Pie takes a death, making him only have three clears. And Foxen has five. There's two minutes and 20 seconds left. I guess if I Eat Your Pie gets two really good levels, he could still clear it up. Or I guess definitely seem really like a good tough, levels now. Definitely seem like a tough level to stick with. I mean, just anytime there's that many Firebars, you're going to take a death. You know, you gotta think you're gonna take a death or two, and with that low uh, life total, you might want to skip that one a little bit earlier. But he decided to stick with it. Down to three clears Absolutely. here. If Foxen gets Smart. this axe, that the will be the axe in this match. Would have been to skip that fire bar level. I don't know what he was thinking. Unless he didn't realize he only had one life left. That could be too. As Foxen Which is a possibility. Probably... I've seen a lot of runners not realize that they're running out of lives. Sure, Foxen putting the axe into that level and also this match in my opinion because uh, only 130 left is going to be pretty tough to get two clears here for Roger by unless they are extremely short which this one does not appear to be so far one minute and 15 seconds left on the clock yep yeah, with that death I think we can call this one. Was it? Was it? Yeah. You know, the the, the it, unfortunate two game overs for Ajibai kind of took the competitiveness out of this one. Um, a little bit. But uh, he did. I mean, it's not like he was making the crazy not skip decisions in the first two matches, especially. He was skipping pretty. No, he pretty had readily. Some pretty bad RNG there. Yeah. So unfortunate, unfortunate for him. Uh, getting but swept here. as Fox takes three. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I can't wait to the end of this one. We get to see the guy in the background finally. Give a little bit of encouragement to Foxen for the win, at least, hopefully. I don't know what kind of coach he is, but I hope he's a nice coach. At least acknowledges a win. Or does, maybe he doesn't care to the playoffs. We don't even know. He's been sitting there for 45 minutes. His legs must be sore. <laughs> I mean, uh, I've been sitting here for, what, five, four hours now? My legs are sore. There you go. Almost done. 15 seconds on the clock left for Josh as well. As Aichapai takes a bite into the tomato soup. Eight seconds Eight left. Eight seconds left. And let's see if uh, Foxen's got a clear anywhere here. It does not seem so. Two, one, and three clears for Aichapai. And six clears. Or did he just get that one? I don't think that was under the clock. We'll have to get the, the, the uh, judges out of that one. But I think that was after the clock. But the, yeah, what a race. What a what a day so far. Foxen taking the sweep, taking all four points from I at your pie. Josh, you are done with your four matches of the day. What what do you what do you think and what are your thoughts on your first day of commentating for GSA Endless Mode League? Um, it was really fun and I look forward to doing it again. Maybe next time there'll be more matches that I'm able to commentate on. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. And of course, stay tuned. We got a lot more stuff coming up with uh, me and the beast on commentating next. So stay tuned.